Well, last week we kind of planted our seed in the alfalfa fields and got the seed to Germany. Dr. Don Miller is with us, Director of Product Development with Alpharex, to talk about uh, what happens from here on out after emergence. And after emergence, uh, Don, what's what's really going on with the plant? Well, you know, it started to put down that, that root, and then also it started to put in above ground the cotyledons and that first single uh, unifoliate. But then right after that, it starts to, the plant starts to change and starts to develop that crown area where all that f- future uh, crown buds are and all your uh, top growth is eventually going to come from. And so uh, what happens is that those cotyledons, the node there, and also where the, the first true leaf came out of the, uh, the plant, uh, that starts sinking back down into the soil and uh, what they call contractual growth. And, and that's the beginnings of what uh, is uh, the formation of the crown. And that takes about 16 weeks uh, for that plant to do that. What kind of roots are we establishing and developing during this period? Well, when, you first, uh, when the seed first germinates, it's putting down that first tap root. And then uh, in the next few weeks, uh, that young radical, uh, the young root, starts to break uh, into um, more uh, roots, uh, the side roots, the, r- the root hairs, secondary roots. And that optimal temperature during that time period is around 68 to 75 degrees for that, that uh, the roots to develop. And, of course, with alfalfa, we're talking about uh, a nitrogen-fixing plant. How does that actually happen in the soil? Well, that's when you plant that seed, uh, hopefully you've had that seed inoculated with that beneficial rhizobium that's on the outside of the seed. And as that seed germinates, that bacteria sort of infects that root system with a beneficial uh, aspect of nitrogen fixation. And so by about four weeks of growth, the nodules on those roots start to develop. That's uh, on those root hairs, you'll start seeing a, a little uh, pink, pinkish nodule. And at the end of the year, um, uh, it's developing about 175 pounds of, of nitrogen that's being fixed per acre per year. And so that's the real benefit of a legume like alfalfa. It's providing its own nitrogen fertilizer uh, as it moves forward. And, of course, that's very, very important. So we want to make sure we do it right. So what are the best conditions for making sure all these things you just talked about are coming around yeah if you've planted it at the right time of the season uh, uh, you know the optimal conditions for the seedling development is around 72 to 76 degrees uh, for the top growth we want to make sure during that time period we don't have a lot of weeds uh, that are competing with our alfalfa so we need to make sure that uh, we have a good herbicide out there and control uh, whatever is affecting because we want to make sure that plant gets the light it needs we don't want to be shaded out by weeds and we don't want it to have to compete with moisture and nutrients uh, nutrients out there with all these weeds out there. So again, making sure the conditions are just right for that seedling to get up and go. And and also, go out there and make sure that you don't have any insects that are are damaging those new seedlings when they're coming out of the ground and and, uh, killing plants. They're pretty luscious for some of these insects as new soft plants. Yeah, really succulent tissue and the insect out there can damage your stand pretty quickly. All right, so after it emerges, it's important to take care of those alfalfa plants. Our expert with us again, Dr. Don Miller, Director of Product Development with Alpharex.